Are you just about to teach measurement or are you looking for a fantastic activity that's hands on and can teach units of length? Well, don't go anywhere because this activity is perfect for you. Hi, my name's Tom Moore and in the student version of this video we got them to go through and construct a metre and then compare their estimations to their actual precise measurements. Now make sure you stick around to the very end of this video because we will tell you how you can win a fantastic prize that you can use with your classes. Now did you know that using both sides of our brain helps to develop much deeper neural pathways when learning new things? Now when we learn mathematics normally we actually mainly use the left hand side of our brain because that's responsible for logic. Whereas through doing this activity where their students construct a metre, well they're actually using the right hand side of their brain because that's responsible for creativity. Now through using both sides of our brain, it actually is getting students to think much deeper about the mathematics and really develop a strong understanding of what actually constructs one metre. Now that actually gets students to think about well how many centimetres go into a metre and then how many millimetres go into a centimetre and of course from there how many millimetres go into a metre. And you can have a really good discussion about this. Another great thing you can do is talk about how many metres make a kilometre. Now when considering this, it's really worthwhile getting students to time how long it takes them to make one metre so that then they can have a real good appreciation of just how far a kilometre is. Because if you ask them the question, well it's taking us 10 minutes to make one metre, how long will it take us to make one kilometre? That actually gets a really good understanding for the students of just how much goes into one kilometre. Now it's also worth discussing why we have standardised units of measurement rather than having just informal units of measurement such as how many hands. The other thing that you can do is actually take this activity much further. That is you can get students to construct maybe a metre squared and talk about how many centimetres squared go into a metre squared and compare that to how many centimetres go into a metre. Why is this the case? And then once you've done that with metres squared, you can actually construct a metre cubed and talk about how many centimetres cubed go into a metre cubed. And I always like to start the lesson off with, have you ever seen a million of something? Because there are a million centimetres cubed in one metre cubed and that really blows students' minds. Now quite often students actually underestimate just how big a metre is. So by getting them to construct their own version using both sides of their brain really develops a strong understanding of how all the units of measurement interrelate. Now it's competition time and we're going to be giving away one cubic metre and all you need to do is like the video and leave a comment below telling us how you might use this with your classes. We'll be going through and having a look over the course of the next couple of weeks to choose a winner, but the only catch is you must be from Australia. Now if you like this video, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of the videos that come out as they come out, and don't forget to like and comment below if you want to win the cubic meter. Also, make sure you watch any other video that we've already put together. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.